The Bedside Book by Richard Buse. Reading 18. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother. John 19, 25. Mary, the mother of Jesus, would have known that this was what her son had come for. She and Joseph were to call him Jesus, Saviour, at birth, for he shall save his people from their sins. Earlier, Mary had received a prophecy that a sword shall pierce your own soul also. The moment had come. The sky went dark, the earth rumbled, even the graves of Jerusalem were disturbed. As the Jewish Christian Alfred Edersheim wrote, a shudder ran through nature. Jesus, God in human form, was suspended between earth and heaven as he hung upon the cross. The earth was rejecting him with its cry, let him be crucified. But heaven was rejecting him too, as God's just wrath was vented upon human rebellion, declaring in effect, there's the cheat, there's the slanderer, the murderer, the paedophile, the swindler. God in Jesus Christ was intercepting his own judgment upon sin. It was an act of purest love that we might escape judgment. At that point, Jesus was the loneliest person in the universe. Near the cross of Jesus stood, why not put your own name there? Identify with Christ in his dying love for you. God says, I'll meet you at the cross, nowhere else. I will forgive you only on the basis of my son's death for you, as you trust in him. The cross becomes judgment day, already past.